Hey guys, I have been seeing a lot of videos about root cellars, root cellaring, and saving your harvest in a way that doesn't require canning or freezer or dehydrator. And the best way to do that is a root cellar. However, um, I want to be very clear on something, and this is even why I made the video, is you don't actually have to have a root cellar to do that. The only thing you really need is a cool basement room. And if you have forced air, you want to make sure that not only is that heating um, uh, duct closed off, but I mean really closed off, so that you don't have any hot air blowing into this room. It's also nice if the surrounding rooms stay cool. If you have a basement and you want things to stay really nice and um, in good shape for the winter, you don't want the room next door to be at 80 degrees. You want it to be at 40 degrees or 50 degrees, at the tops, 60 degrees. The one year that this, which is our root cellar, it's not a root cellar, it's just a pantry downstairs. But the reason it works is because it's unheated. The one year that it didn't work was when we had the wood burning stove downstairs going. It was our first year. Was it our first year here? It was our first year here. And um, everything in here sprouted and went bad because the wood stove down here was just too overpowering even though we didn't have heat going in here. So we do some different storage um, techniques uh, depending on what kind of food it is. We like to keep potatoes in here and onions and our uh, supplies for canning. And um, we keep our cheese making equipment and old jars down here. We have our laundry soap making supplies. And um, right now I don't have a whole lot in it because this will be the first fall that we've been in the house since 2015. So it doesn't look, it, it, it's gonna look way different once I have all these boxes of produce in here. You can also store squash on the shelves. The only thing is you really wanna clean it down in between seasons. You want to wipe down the shelves, you want to vacuum things out, you want to change your containers. Uh, one really important thing you need to know is that most vegetables, with the exception of, I think, carrots, want to have air flow circulation, especially potatoes. You don't, if you buy a box, 50 pound box of potatoes from a potato seller from the grocery store, that's not the box you want to keep them in. You want to put them in a peach box. A peach box has lots and lots of holes and slits in it and um, that way the air can flow through the potatoes and they won't mold and mildew because they, they also need air circulation. So this is what mine looks like currently here in about another month, maybe six weeks. We will have about 800 pounds of potatoes down here. We'll have a winter squash lining the shelves. We will most likely have some jars of applesauce, some, some dried goods in here, and then all you really need to do is turn off the light. Uh, we do like to shut the door at that point. It kind of depends on how your house is. Our house can get a little bit um, stuffy. So if it starts to smell like mold in here, we just will crack the door and try to keep the air moving a little bit more. And then come, the, the, real, the real trick to having a root cellar is that you have to come down and rotate things. It's just the same as, as what you would keep in a fridge. It's not a permanent storage solution like canning or dehydrating. Instead, you come down once a day and you pull out stuff that looks like it's going soft. You pull out stuff that looks like it's a little damper than it should be. And you just inspect the food every day and you sort through it as best you can. If you start to smell something in here, um, you come in and very quickly resort, repackage everything, pull out anything that's going bad and feed it to pigs or put it in compost, whatever it is you want to do. Um, so. You don't have to go spend $20,000, go dig a hole and try to attach a root cellar to your house. Just, you need a cool, um, cold to cool room in your basement. Make sure that if you have forced air heating, that that is turned off and maybe even put some plastic over it to, get, to really keep it out. Some people have even taken um, air conditioners and put them just in a room and turned them on to uh, kind of simulate a um, root cellar which is a lot cheaper, running that electricity is a lot cheaper than actually building a special room. And so for those of you who think, uh, she doesn't really know what she's talking about, how would she know? She's too young to really understand root cellars. I grew up with a root cellar. Um, my dad built a very large root cellar in, uh, in a special room right next to our big food storage room, and it even had like blast doors on it, and, and venting. It was meant to be 
a room that if there was ever nuclear fallout, we had a safe place to go that was connected to our root cellar that also, or connected to our food storage room that also had water. He had a 500 gallon uh, milk uh, tank sunk underneath the root cellar that was attached to our well that was run with solar. And so if we ever had had a need to be in that root cellar for a really long time, we would have been able to, oh, just, just about indefinitely, we would have been fine. Um, <clears throat> so I grew up with one, and the reason that it was difficult to use it was that it was large. We, we probably could have used more shelves, and it was hard to get things rotated. It was in the basement. It was a little harder to get to. And so we would store potatoes in it, but we didn't store much else in it. And it turned out not to be a, a room that we used a whole bunch. This room I use constantly because it's easy to get to. And it does just as good a job, if not better, than the root cellar that I had when I was a kid. Just because it's accessible and all I have to do is keep the other rooms around it cool. If you don't have a huge house and you can't do that, then um, that does create a, a, a problem. But... Um, maybe super insulate the room. It's cheaper to put up insulation in a room that already exists than it is to go and build a whole new room. Um, maybe you do set up a little a little uh, air conditioner in here that uh, just keeps it cooler even though the other rooms are warm. There's so many different options and uh, it's kind of fun to play with those options and see how cost effective you can be. So hopefully this was helpful. And for those of you who've been discouraged thinking that you can't be a real homesteader without a real root cellar with a dirt floor, it's not true. Just use something like this. So thanks for popping in. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> I guess I just turned it off. <laughs>